Okay, FAQ number 91, Marijuana and the Bible. I've had different people write to me and say, what are my thoughts on the thing of marijuana? Well, uh, the one verse I heard quoted, and there was another one, I can't remember what it was, but uh, the one verse I heard quoted was uh, Psalm 104, verse 14. You go there in your Bible. Psalm 104 and verse 14. It says here, He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth. Okay, and they said, well, see, marijuana is an herb, therefore it's good for man, and, and therefore it's a good thing for man's health, and it's wonderful and great. Um, well, if you look at the actual context of that thing, he calls it the grass to grow for the cattle, and herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth. So I see it more as a food type of a thing than so much as a medicinal. Now, I am very much for herbal remedies, okay? Let me state that. Very much for that. But with something like marijuana, there's a little danger there. Turn your Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. I'll show you why I'm kind of like mm, a little bit on the whole marijuana thing. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12 says here, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Okay, so can you take marijuana in a moderate way that you don't become high? You know, and I don't mean hello, okay? I mean uh, out of your mind, bonkers, you know, off in some other place that's happier than where you currently are. Okay, <laughs> Can you take marijuana in a small amount that you don't get high like a drug with? Um, well, I don't know. Um, I have no experience at all with marijuana. I knew some kids in high school that were taking it and you know, smoking pot and all this other stuff. Uh, and again, I really don't see much of a uh, defense in Scripture for smoking anything. Uh, there's incense, burning incense, but you're not actually breathing and inhaling it into your lungs and then blowing it back out through your nose or whatever else to get a, a caffeine high or, or a marijuana high or something like that. I, I just don't see any scripture for it. Um, is there a way that you could apply marijuana herbally um, as some kind of an herbal cure? You know, I've heard of people saying that, uh, that it can be used to help with headaches and things like that. And, but see, again, you're smoking it. It's, so I, I really don't see much defense in scripture for the thing of marijuana. Uh, I know that a lot of people have been very, very messed up actually by smoking pot and um, it can really mess up your mind and it can definitely bring you under its power. And, uh, you know, again, my father was a paramedic and he would come home and tell us stories and things of ambulance calls that he would get with people that were high on marijuana, um, people that were, you know, uh, drunk from drinking too much alcohol. Um, you know, it, it, I will say that, you know, if there is a uh, very, very small amount that is can be applied um, medicinally or something like this that's not smoked, uh, you, you dry the herb and put it in food or some kind of a thing like that, and it's not something that you get really higher than a kite with or something, well, maybe you can make an argument for it. Um, again, I, I just stay away from the whole thing because it's like, for me, you know, there are laws against it. And again, I understand the hypocrisy of that. You know, it's funny because you get like the thing with moonshine. You know, you can't make your own alcohol, but you can go down the street and buy it from the, you know, alcohol store. You know, it's, it's, that, that's hypocrisy with the government. You know, you can't, you get a government that, that through the CIA brings in you know, cocaine and heroin and everything else. You know, the whole Vietnam War was about. Uh, securing the cocaine and heroin operations. And then, you know, now we have Afghanistan, the war in Afghanistan, again, uh, for heroin purposes. It's, it's a multi-billion dollar industry with our government. And, uh, and I don't mean everybody that's in elected office is part of the thing. I'm not saying that. But the CIA operations, they, they deal a lot with the thing of drugs. So it's, it's hypocrisy, you know. You get uh, law enforcement coming down on somebody for growing a marijuana plant while they themselves are covering up, 
you know, shipments of heroin being brought into America. You know, it's total hypocrisy. But so, you know, I'm not saying I totally side with the government on this whole thing. Please understand that. But for me, it's like, do I want to mess around with getting arrested, getting in trouble with the law over something that is controversial like this, over something that, you know, if I'm feeling a little bit down, I might be tempted to take a little bit more than I should to even make me feel a little bit better than normal. See, it's lawful, just like drinking alcohol. Um, the Bible does not say any drinking of anything that has alcoholic content is just totally across the board wrong. The Bible doesn't say that, okay? But it's, it's, it's like you should abstain from that because the flesh being what it is can take too much. And if you have a problem with moderation, uh, you might drink too much and then you end up getting drunk. And now you're in sin. Uh, if you have a problem with that moderation, you might smoke too much pot or do too much marijuana, whatever, and now you got a problem. So for me, I just say, no thank you. I stay away from it, just like I stay away from alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. Um, I know some, some brethren do, and they can drink it in moderation. They don't have a problem. They don't get drunk. Uh, whatever. Um, marijuana, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a little bit more stay away from that stuff because, again, it's most people smoke it, um, and I don't really see any kind of evidence or any kind of scripture in the Bible for smoking uh, anything. Tobacco or, and you know, tobacco there again, you grow tobacco, it'll destroy the land. Uh, very interesting study on that. But so uh, I would avoid the thing of marijuana, to be very honest with you. I think it's a, it's a trap that you can fall into and uh, really get yourself messed up. So that's how I'd answer that question.